Today, I'm gonna show you 10 epic smartphone gimbal moves that's gonna take your car B-roll to the next level. And we're gonna do all of this with this budget gimbal from Hohen. Let's do this. Burton Dasset Hill. Let's film some car B-roll. So let's talk about the settings. I'll be filming 4K at 60 frames a second so I can slow down the footage, get it really cinematic. And also, I'm gonna throw in some speed ramps and make it look even better. I'll also be shooting with the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So let's jump into these 10 moves and don't forget to hit that like button can help me out. So move number one is the push forward jib shot. This is the perfect establishing shot for a car B-roll sequence. It's really gonna set the scene and draw the audience into the car. Start by walking towards the car at a steady pace heel to toe movement. You wanna try and reduce as many of those micro shakes as possible. As you get closer to the car, slowly start to push up and perform a jib shot over the car, revealing that amazing landscape. Right, move number two is the front grille pivot. Ugh, yeah. Can't even say that. Front grille pivot slide shot. Make sure you're comfortable and steady when performing this one. I like to plant my feet in position and then pivot with my knees. Start from one side and then slowly pivot across to the other side. Keep both hands on that gimbal and keep it as steady as possible. And then you'll get a shot that looks something like this. Right, shot number three is the full car orbit shot. Start at one side of the car, slowly push forward, and then start to orbit around the car. Keep the car in the center of the frame. Make sure there's no obstacles around there. You don't want to stack it, drop your gimbal and damage it. So before you start any of these moves, just make sure the area is clear. And once you're done, you should get a shot that looks something like this. Now the next set of moves is going to require some extra grip and a further reach. So I'm going to be using this Insta 360 pole. This pole is amazing. It extends up to three. Now this thing's amazing because it extends to up to three. Three meters. I mean, this thing is long. Now we can get some epic shots with this thing, which leads me into move number four, the front window interior reveal pullback shot. Now try saying that five times in a row really fast. Roll both windows down. Position your phone and gimbal through the car outside the far window. Once you're steady, start to pull back through the car and start to reveal that interior for that really great cinematic shot. Right, move number five, car seat front window pullback shot. Again, we're gonna roll down that front window, position the camera and the gimbal as close to the seat as you can. This car's got a nice little logo. Get that in focus, then pull away, keeping your hand steady, heel to toe movement to reveal that car in its full glory. Right, move number six is the push forward orbit shot. This is one of my favorite shots and the most cinematic shot you can do with a car. Start with your extension arm extended comfortably enough to reach the ground for your height in a quick steady movement push forward heel to toe and then start to pivot around the car remember steady heel to toe and you'll get a shot that looks like this right move number seven is front to back interior reveal pullback shot man the name of these shots man they're just getting ridiculous now this is the most advanced and difficult move you're going to do today if you're going to attempt this be prepared to use most of the strength in your wrist and forearms because this is going to be hard start by fully extending your gimbal and extension arm go through the boot start at the front of the car hold it steady it's going to be heavy it's going to be tricky you're going to shake slowly pull back through the car the key is to keep it steady it's going to be hard but trust me if you can master it it's gonna look amazing right shot number eight is the fake drone crane tilt down pull back shot now I don't know where I'm coming up with these names but this is another advanced shot so this car had a sunroof so I had this idea of filming a pullback shot from the top of the car before you start this move you need to grab your gimbal 
using that joystick and fully tilt your smartphone down. And doing this with the whole hem iSteady Mobile Plus is absolute pleasure. The joystick was very smooth and responsive. Once this is done, you are ready to take the shot. Move towards the front of the car, then place your phone with the extension arm over the top of the car. Then pull back through over that sunroof, revealing that interior. It might take a few attempts to master it, but man, it's gonna be worth it. Right, shot number nine is the front interior pullback shot. We're gonna use the extension arm, but I'm gonna use it mainly for extra grip. Now you need to pick a spot in the interior that is as low as possible. Then you can start pulling back at a steady pace to reveal that interior. Now getting low like this can really draw the viewer into the shot. Right, the final shot, shot number 10, the backwards fake drone pull down low shot. This is a great shot to end on. Start with your phone and gimbal extended over the car at an angle. As you're walking backwards and pulling away from the car, try to sweep down as close to the car as possible, going as close to the ground as you can. And this is a great shot and the perfect ending to the sequence. Right guys, that is now a wrap car b-roll man that gimbal was amazing to use <sighs> it's time to go and get some beer man we shot some epic gimbal shots there let's throw all those clips together put some color grades sound effects and music let's see what kind of results you can get looked epic. All that was filmed with the Hohem iSteady Mobile Plus brand new model for 2022. I have to say this gimbal is brilliant, especially for the price. You are definitely getting a bargain with this. And we just proved that you can shoot amazing gimbal moves with a gimbal like this. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.